So how do you use the metric system? Well, first thing you've got to remember those base units that we talked about in the last lesson. And those base units are gram, liter, and the last one is going to be meter. So you've got to remember those things. And if it's an L, then it's liter. If it's an M, then it's a meter. And if it's a GM, then it's a gram. That's the first step to remember. And then you've got to remember those prefixes that go along. All those things like kilo, hecto, deca, then deci, centi, and milli. And feel free to go ahead and just have a list of these and look them up uh, when you need to. Uh, but eventually you'll get them and mem remember them. So frequently you're going to have to convert units. And so if you, the first thing you need to do is you need to recognize if the unit being changed is being changed to bigger or to smaller. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. If the, if the unit, if the changing is from a smaller unit like centimeters to a bigger unit like meters, then divide. So here, I have 90 milliliters. And I'm changing that to liters. So I've got to think to myself, well, what do I need to do? I need to go ahead and think how many times I need to divide by 10. And the way I do that is by just listing this out. Liter is the first one. Then I've got deciliter. Then I've got centiliter. And the last one is milliliter. And so what I have to do is, I have to say to myself, well, I'm changing this to this. So I've got to divide by 10, then by 10 again, then by 10 again. And one way of doing that is just by dividing it by 10. So then this divided by 10 is going to be 9. Then it's going to be 10 more. It's going to be 0 0.9. And 10 more, it's going to be 0 0.09. So this would be, it would be 9 Des, uh, it would be 9 centiliters. It would be 0.9 deciliters. And then it's going to be 0 0.09 liters. Or you could just realize, well, I'm dividing by 10 three times, so that's the same as dividing by 1,000. So it's up to you, whichever you do. Now over here, if changing from a bigger unit like kilometer to a smaller unit like grams, you know that you have to have a lot more millimeters if you start off with a bunch of meters. Because a millimeter is a lot smaller than a meter is. Just like up here, a milliliter is a lot smaller than a liter, so you're going to have a lot fewer liters than you are milliliters. And the same goes down here. So if I have 58 millimeters, or 58 meters, and I'm changing to millimeters, all I do is I write that out again. I'm changing from meters. to decimeters, to centimeters, and then finally down here to millimeters. So, what I need to do now is I just need to make sure that that makes sense. So, I start off with 58 meters. So, each time I go down, I'm multiplying by 10. So, by 10, if I have 58 meters, then I'm going to have 580 decimeters. I'm going to have 5,800 centimeters. And that means I'm going to have 58,000 millimeters. 
and that makes sense because there's a lot more of these than there are those. And or I could just multiply by a thousand because I know that there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. Whichever works for you, and we're done.